Do we know where it is? Oh no, oh no, oh no. Hey guys, Weedy Waffle here today. We are back in Waffle County in our rebuild or redevelop series. And look at our beautiful city. I mean, it's looking fantastic. I have, it's currently on pause. I'm gonna unpause it when we actually get started. But what I'm thinking about today, I did go in between episodes, put in some more trees. I still have some work to do, but uh, you guys kind of all agreed that it wouldn't be a problem to have a ton of trees, especially where people have developed because they're gonna be taking care of their yards. And that's similar to a lot of places that live in more arid climates. Although the more we play, the more green this area gets. So maybe I need to like pull it back and give it some more sand. Um, but I'm still doing some terraforming, so we're getting there. Uh, and I did just add some extra roads here and there to make this look less like a big bean uh, and try to like break it up a bit. But today what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually go in and do some public transit. We need public transit. So what I'm thinking, let me just look over what we've got here. We don't have a lot of money. We only have $12,000 which is gonna make doing all of this pretty challenging. So why don't we go ahead and while we are waiting to save up some cash, do we have the tram depot? How much is that? 40,000. I wanna start with the tram depot and kind of have trams go around this area, although we haven't really finished our avenues yet. So maybe we will start with buses. A bus depot is 30 grand. What's the fancy one? Biofuel is 40 grand. All right, let's go ahead and unpause. We're gonna play this entire episode unpaused. We're just going to let whatever happens happen. And we'll play on two times speed. Um, I have a feeling like it, it's been a while since we've had any like major disasters. And I just have a feeling that we're not going to keep getting this lucky. So we'll play it on two times speed so that whatever needs to happen can happen. Uh, let's fill in, I think, all of this area here. And I kind of want to leave this coastline for a park. I think that would look nice. Uh, so we'll go ahead and fill all that in. And then I'm going to just kind of paint, even though we're kind of meeting the demand that we have for residential, I really do want to just stack some people in here. So let's fill in all of this. Now, none of this area is going to have services or anything. That's okay. We'll come back later on. We're actually pretty close to a milestone too. So once we hit that milestone, we will be just fine. All of this will be businesses. This will also be some beautiful housing. Okay, great, there we go, we'll do all that. And this is a great opportunity to use this, what did I do, field? Yeah, I did the field. Go ahead and just increase it in size and give this some concrete. Oh, I love that. I love that, I love that. We still don't have enough population or money to uh, to build our memorial statue that we have for over here. I did see some comments in the last part uh, with some other suggestions you guys had. So I'm gonna go back over those uh, and start like grabbing some things from the workshop for some other options as well, because it might be a while before we can get that memorial statue, but I don't wanna forget to do that. All right, so we're trying to follow the roads. Luckily, I think I made these pretty easy to follow. Uh, we'll come up this way connect on through here. This little spot might be a problem. I actually want to go in really quick and remove some of the really small zoning. Uh, I'm just not a huge fan of how it looks. Big town. Okay, we got campuses. That's great. Uh, IT cluster, leisure, tons more of the policies. And we've unlocked high density, although I'm not ready to use that just yet. Uh, incineration plant. Okay, that's great. What else do we've got? Sauna. Okay, we've got deep space radar, a fire watch tower, tall radio mast. We have the large emergency shelter, as well as a bunch of helicopters. Ooh, earthquake sensor. Man, we got lots of stuff. Okay, so we're going to look into some of that maybe today, maybe in the next part, because I do want to get some public transit in here. I mean, we've almost hit, we're nearly at 10,000 people, so I feel like it is time for us to do some... Um, do some public transit. Oh my God, another fire. How much would it cost to build the fire helicopter depot? 55,000. Okay, well, luckily that seems pretty contained. So that can just stay right there. Uh, let's go ahead and do, we wanted to build this bus terminal. Before we do that, we've got a hundred grand. I do want an earthquake sensor, just at least around our main area. It costs 3,500, doesn't pollute or anything. So I think we can tuck it kind of near the highway. Yeah, and this covers everything. So maybe we tuck it over here. Is that a good spot? Oh, that's fine. All right, so we're gonna stick an earthquake sensor right here. It should be watered and powered from here. 
So we're all right there. But now we've got something to detect if there's going to be an earthquake. And then um, before we jump into our other stuff, we're good on radio coverage for the most part. We have tsunami buoys. How much is this? Deep space radar. It's only 25,000. But I kind of want this to be like in its own spot. I think we'll risk it now. If we get any meteors, knock on wood, uh, I think we'll just risk it for the moment. And then we can figure out where to put that later on when we have a permanent home for it. We need services. We're fine on water. We're fine on sewage. We're fine on power. We're okay on trash. We're okay. I will place one more of these. Maybe over there is not the right spot. Maybe for now we'll place one up here at the top of the hill because we can just always come back and move these later on. Uh, it's going to need power. Where's my tiny ones? Let's use these guys. Beautiful. All right, so now that's watered and powered. Uh, let's look into this area. So this area has absolutely no services. Because we're still low density at the moment, I think kind of going with these smaller buildings is absolutely fine. Let's kind of mess around with this a little bit. Let's do the zoning adjuster. This is going to probably mess up some things, but I want to take it off of these side roads. This one will keep, hold on, if I hold alt, I can pick the side, right? There we go. We'll do it like this. Do it like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, there we go. So now we've got all of the zoning pretty much cleaned up. So that's gonna keep filling in. We're gonna need some more industry soon, which will be great for us to expand on our farming a bit. Let's put this uh, clinic. I really wanna make sure it's touching all the way over to there. So maybe this clinic could go even a bit off that main road. Uh, let's also look at, do we have death care over here? Actually, we have no death care over here at all. This could go right here. There's nothing else over here at the moment. The coverage for that is decent enough, or it could go on this side. I like it near the highway, kind of set back. It's a little bit out of the way. We haven't really done much with childcare or any of that yet, and I'm not going to just yet. Uh, all of this needs a firehouse. I don't mind that. I can't go there because I, I removed the zoning from that, but we could do it here. So it's off the main road, but then they can really turn any direction they need to go. And then let's also do, we're at 95,000, so we're fine on our current monies. None of this has police. I mean, we could be cheeky and just put it right next to the fire station, but I kind of want to spread them out a bit. Maybe we'll put it uh, in the heart of this area somewhere. You're driving down the main road and it's just kind of tucked back over here. I guess it's sharing a block with the clinic, but that's okay. And then education elementary, we are more than enough of capacity. High school, we're fine as well. We don't have a university yet, which is something we'll think about very soon. Uh, in the meantime, though, let's go ahead with 91,000. Let's go ahead and place down uh, at least one or two of these public libraries throughout our place. We could maybe stick it in here, or we could put it along here. Can it go along the main road if we anarchy it in here? Yeah. I think it's gonna go right there. We're gonna remove all of this. We'll put in some some detailing there or something. And then let's do at least another one somewhere. We have this triangle we aren't using. So that could go there or it could go along this edge here. So that's gonna cover that area. They don't really have that large of a radius. Like you would have thought they had a much bigger radius than they do. All right, I think for this spot, I want to put it here, but I actually want to fill this with some parking lots first. Just some parking lots. We have a road come forward here. One, two, three. We'll bring our road forward. It'll be grass lined because we now have those. Uh, let's actually turn off road guidelines to here. Okay, and then let's see if we can fit. I don't, mm, we're not gonna have enough space to fit this behind there. Actually, we'll place it right there and we'll just put um, parking lot on either side. That should be fine. We'll send this up and along the back. And then we can put in a tree or two. Maybe these little ones. What does that look like? Oh, that's. That's kind of tiny, very tiny. 
I like these a lot. Let's do these. So we're just going to do a straight little line of these guys. Uh, can we do it with anarchy on? Let's turn on all these anarchies. Or I think it's here. We need to go in here and do prop line. There we go. That's the anarchy we want. Okay, there we go. So now we're back here. We're still having supply chain issues for this guy, but you'll figure yourself out. And some not enough educated workers. Hopefully, at least for the, the moment, having these public libraries can help with that a little bit until we're ready to actually build a university campus. Let's go ahead and think about our public transit. So I'm thinking we do these biofuel buses. They work like regular buses, send out buses that are regular buses, uh, much quieter, but carry just as many passengers. Okay, that's what we wanna make sure that we can do. So I'm gonna stick this over here. We've got a nice little space for it uh, in this kind of industrial area. Or we could bring it maybe along the back here, kind of fill in that space. I guess it doesn't really matter. It is a little loud, or we could stick it near the highway. You know what, no, let's do it Let's do it in this industrial area. I think this just makes sense. So we'll stick this guy down. Now we're gonna figure out some buses. So what I'm thinking for our tram line, we're gonna have a tram line that goes all the way around and loops kind of around the whole area, whether it goes up the avenue and then cuts down here, or it cuts through here or something, but I wanna have one looping tram. And then we're gonna have buses that kind of connect over to the the looping tram so why don't we first think about uh we've got a lot of industry here and then we have a lot of residential over here so why don't we go ahead and kind of connect these two areas together or should we go across and connect these areas up oh i think i want to do it that way what if you come down the hill there's a stop right here in front of this park and let's see, one, two, three. I kind of like going three stops. Two, three, two, and three. It's gonna come back over this way. One, two, three. Then I think it's gonna cut in and go over this way. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, right? Good, right before it goes across and onto the bridge. We'll stop. I think it'll come right over and we're gonna stop on this side of the one way. And then it's gonna come up and we'll go one, two, three would be to here, there's nothing here now. So why don't we cross over the road? Although we'd wanna come back this direction. So let's see, one, two, three. That's That doesn't make much sense. Let's stop here. We'll bring it to here, one, two, and three, and we'll stop here, and then we can come back up and around. But this is servicing kind of both sides of this road. Uh, let's go ahead and stop a little bit further in. One, two, one, wait. One, two, three. We would want to stop, I think, right before we cross over the bridge, and then we'll do that. All right, let's do the exact reverse of that. I think that this one here is a little bit too close once you turn. So let's bring this in a bit. I don't mind that those are a touch closer. Those feel ridiculously close. You know what? Maybe they don't share exactly the same. Maybe this comes over this direction and comes up this side. And then if we have another one along here, it's kind of just feeding the future area that will be over here. We'll do one here and then we'll come back in. So they're not perfectly mirrored, but they're gonna cover, I think, a lot of land or a lot of houses with this. Okay, bring it back down here. So we have this kind of a looping path that goes back and forth. I think I want one that comes through here. We've got a road underneath here and a road underneath here, so we could get a really good curve and it could come around this square. I think this, okay, this will be an easy one to build because we're gonna use this avenue. So if we started here, Actually, if we started here, right at the front of the avenue, and then came to the end of the avenue. One, two, three, great. Stops right in front of the cemetery. One, two, three. It's really four, I guess, because that would have been three. But as long as the smiley faces are really covering the inside of this, then we'll be fine. Now here, I'm going to stop. Actually, we're going to back these both up. 
We're going to stop once. We'll keep this. But then this one's just going to come a little bit further along. And then we will ignore this area because there's our own and off ramp. So it's too busy there, I think, to be stopping that close. Um, now, do we go through this area? Or do we go around it? I think we want to go through it. I think you're going to come on in and we'll stop right at the start of the neighborhood. We'll also have a stop right on the outside of the neighborhood over here. Better yet, maybe it stays in this neighborhood. Maybe it goes to here. Comes over and around. What if it were to curve the other way? Okay, it could curve this way. We come over to this side. Then it pulls out and it's going to come down this middle area. So it's going to come along here. It's going to stop at the back of the high school right before it gets onto the main avenue. And then I think we'll have a stop maybe right he here. Because then you can easily get to this stop or walk around the block and get to this stop. Because they don't need to share the exact same spot. Better yet, we'll do one here and then we will do another one up here. Just so that this whole area, because there's a lot of businesses there. And this is just completely, I guess there is this path. There's nothing zoned here, so I'm not sure if we want to have a stop there. So we're just going to bring it back around. I love how there's people already queuing and like buses haven't even spawned for this line. All right, then the reverse, we would obviously want to have one there. Um, my fear with this is it's super close to this intersection, but we might, we might be fine. We might be fine. No, you know what? We're not fine. We're going to move it up, and then this one's going to come here. We're going to skip. This will have three spots over here. This will only have one, uh, the two. This is going to then, actually, we're going to, we're going to change it up again. Hold on. One, two, three. This will come up this direction and come over here. Should it come down this double road? Although we don't actually stop on the double road. We stop when it becomes a single road. So let's keep that like that. Let's not stop there. We can stop inside of here if we wanted, or we could stop the other direction. We stop here and here, and then we begin to mirror this route. Now I'm realizing I don't see lots of smiley faces here in this area. And a way we could fix that is if we moved these inwards. It's not great for them. It's not horrible. But if we were to move these like this and have the bus lines come in, then it's kind of servicing the two blocks on this side and the two blocks on this side. And then this one servicing this block and the two blocks on this side, two blocks, two blocks ish. Okay. That's not too bad. I think for this other one, I want to go this direction because there's not a ton happening here with our farm. So why don't we have a bus route? This connects underneath, but also this Avenue connects underneath. Oh, and this road connects underneath. I'm thinking we have a route. This is all residential. This is all business. So maybe this is going to be a bit more central to this spot, but we want to have all these residential people be able to get to all their businesses. So I think we're going to go right up here. No, let's start this side. We're going to stop here. One, two, and three. I think this one will go a bit further because it's on the avenue. Uh, and then it will cut behind the main avenue. Kind of come up this direction. Stop there and stop in here to then cut over and maybe stop over here or better yet, stop over here, share a spot with this bus, but then instead of going that direction, you're going to come back down. So you'll also stop once. Oh, I don't want you to stop on this main road. So you're just going to come back down here. That's fine. Those stops are pretty far, but the smiley faces almost touch. And if we were to move this down one, we would cover everything. Okay. Let's do the reverse. This one's can kind of follow along. This will move up a bit. So it's not right after the turn. This can go here to the middle this time. I think we do follow cause they're the biofuel buses. So I don't mind if there's a lot in these neighborhoods, they're not very loud compared to the other buses. We're not as loud. They're buses. They're going to have some noise. Biofuel or not, they're going to have some noise. I think we're going to move, kind of shuffle those a bit. They don't have to be exactly in line with each other. So that kind of covers that area. 
And I'm thinking this other one, we want it to service all of this. There is some leisure down here. They can walk down to that. Um, we have a bus stop here because it's going forward. We'll stop again at the park. So actually back this up. We're gonna stop here and we'll stop at the park. So now we've stopped in front of whatever these are. Some just businesses. Okay, so businesses, then park. Then we're gonna want a dedicated stop kind of for this fishing area. I guess this could be that, but I want another one. So I think we bring it in. You loop around and then the people can get right off and get to their the fish market. We'll come down here to stop for those businesses. But then I think we're gonna do some strange stuff. Like I think we'll bring it all the way over to here. It's got decent coverage. This is not that far of a walk for these individuals. So they can come down here. We'll go one, two, three, four. I like the four, I like where that sits. One, two, three, and four. Okay, now we've got this line. Do we wanna share here? I think that's too much. I think that's excessive. Uh, let's bring it over here. Bring it over here. So we're sharing a few stops here and there. I didn't bring it right back. Maybe we'll have one more here at the end. Okay, then the same with this. We're gonna bring this over. We're gonna bring it. This one could go down here. No, 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 no because I like having these stops on the main avenue for those businesses. So we'll bring that over. This is gonna to need to be pushed up a bit. So this area has got a lot of buses, but also this is all business and these are three recycling uh, centers. So I'm not too worried. This can share, this can move to here. This can come over this way. This can come to here. This one, I don't mind that. I really wanna get as much of this corner as I can. So let's keep it. And then this is gonna kind of move all the way up over and in. I think that's pretty good. Let's go ahead and we've got 120 or excuse me 182 people per week. I cannot believe we still haven't had a disaster knock on wood. It's been a while. We're going to speed it up. We'll put it on two times. Um, I mean they're on. We still have disasters on. Disasters. Used random disasters is checked. It is at 75%. So it'll it'll happen when it happens. I'm actually going to quickly rename some of our districts. Okay, so here we are. We've got uh, some changes to the names. I do want to give a quick shout out to Burgeon Free Kickers, right? Burgeon Free Kickers? Yeah, that's how you say it, uh, for some of the name suggestions that they left. But I've changed this front area here to Riverside because we're right against the river here, uh, right next to Port Song. That has not changed any. Uh, over here, this area is now being called Frank uh, Fulton Square. And I think we're actually going to name this park Fulton, uh, let's see, Fulton Park. Let's do, uh, let's do uh, P. Fulton Park. I don't know. I don't know who P. Fulton is, but this entire thing is after them. This is P. Fulton High School. There we go. Beautiful. All right, so we've got this little area here for Fulton Square. Let me go back to our district view to make it easier to see. Uh, over here is Ridgeside. You'll notice it kind of is along this ridge all the way up and even kind of butts into this like passing area. Uh, so this is gonna be ridge side here along the ridge. This is Nando Landing. Uh, we had a tornado. It didn't actually land in this area, but when we were building this area, it landed like over here. So tornado, NATO, NATO Landing. I don't know, it's something. Uh, this is Edgemont, again, kind of playing off the idea like this is Ridgeport or Ridge, uh, Ridgeport? Ridge side. This is Edgemont, it's on the edge of where this map will be, or at least this, this city here. So we've kind of expanded the zoning a bit, or the, the districts, not really any of the zoning, but I'm thinking like this is this area, and then I wanna work on some more. In between parts, I am gonna build out a huge mountainside, I think, over here somewhere, um, and that's gonna give us a lot more just ability to mess around with this, uh, the, the, the typography and things, and get some more dynamic buildings in here. All right, we've got buses. Meteorologists have issued a severe tornado warning for the area. Residents should seek shelter immediately if any is available. Do we know where it is? Oh no, oh no, oh no. I don't know why it flashes white. Uh, so I hope that that's not like too crazy for anyone to see. But um, okay, we've got, we've got a tornado coming. It's only a 1.4 though. Well, I asked for a disaster. We got a disaster. Let's see what happens. 
It'll be here any minute, I'm sure. While we wait, uh, let's go ahead and put in a tiny little park or something here. Because it's going to pull our view when it's time. So, like, it's 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 coming. This is more like Tornado Alley. Constant tornadoes. I like the idea of a small playground in here. Let's do that. These are like the base game trees. So let's grab those. We'll put some trees. We'll put some paths. Aren't those these ones? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. So let's... Um... Oh, oh, oh. Tornado's touching down. A tornado tornado's touching down. down it's area. ruining the highway. Seek shelter immediately if any is available. Okay. Oh my god. The donuts. They're just fl <laughs> flinging the poor people. All right. We're losing some houses. Oh my god. Wait. We have... Evacuate. Everyone evacuate. Oh, I should have done that before. All right. I'm sorry if you don't make it. This is really a failure on my part. Oh no. Everyone at the bus stop is getting sucked up. Oh, goodbye. What's your name? Goodbye, Ashley. Goodbye, Scarlet. Layton. Thanks for living here. I'm sorry you're being thrown by this tornado. All right, wow, this uh, this is kind of great. It hit in a empty part of town. I mean, there obviously is this destruction. Okay, we got it. Please don't take my, my sheep. We need the sheep alive. And it's really going. Can we see how much further it's gonna go? Oh no, it's still, it's pretty accurate where it expected it to be. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. That poor Jeep, that poor person. <laughs> All right, it's kind of like settled right over this area. So I feel like this is probably where it's gonna disappear. Beautiful. Okay, um, quick pause, quick pause. I am going to just upgrade or repair the highway because it's already beginning to back up on both sides. So let's just quickly repair. Okay, I can be selected on any kind of road and I can still repair. So the highway's repaired, the rest of this I'm not touching. So what we have lost, not a ton, but we did, you can see kind of like the path that the, 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 hurricane the tornado took it actually lines up perfectly with whatever road this is i turned off the name so i don't actually know what the name of this road is but it lines up beautifully with that road wow all right so uh it really just destroyed a small portion here of this neighborhood uh so this is what fulton square kind of a little bit of port song i would say people you can leave your houses now you're gonna be fine uh we'll go ahead and keep it playing that's what I got to work on. I got to work on letting it play and just like accepting what will be. Uh, so it did mess up a bus route. That's not a huge deal. Uh, but a part of Fulton Square and a part of the Port Song District, not a huge area, but a little bit did get messed up. So I, although it's a small disaster, I am going to ask if we should rebuild this or if we should begin to maybe redevelop this little area. We do need things like a university uh, so we can maybe start like a small little university campus right here and then expand it elsewhere. Or another just random thought, should we move Forest Estate? It technically, like, it didn't get totally wiped out and destroyed, so maybe that's more of the question, because this area is pretty... There's not there's not a lot we can do with this, and we could remove this road and maybe build something here. But should we get rid of the farm if the tornado is, you know, cutting through it and make this, I don't know, more more development? If I, if I just play... Like, this is ready for rebuilding. Is it going to rebuild on its own? I'm going to set all these to historical for now. Only because I don't want people living or, like, redeveloping these until you guys have a say of what we do with this area. I mean, it's not a huge area. Doesn't mean we can't think of something different to go here. So we're going to set... Yeah, I think that's pretty much all of them. These are the roads, which is fine but all these are set to historical, historical. Okay, so I've set all the destroyed buildings to historical. The roads themselves, I'm not worried about. Over here, not many. Oh, we did lose our medical clinic. So we did, we messed up a few bus routes, but nothing too crazy. So we'll work on that, I think, in the next part. Let me finish this. We're gonna let it play. We've gotta let it play. I gotta stop pausing it so much. We're gonna send this guy out. Can I send one? 
just kind of like a little haphazard, like a little all over the place. Just like so. Let's anarchy this in here and maybe do one on this side. And then, yeah, let's just give it some trees. But, and the reason I'm setting some of this as historical is because if I don't, like if I want to go back in and do some detailing work or like let us get up, build up some money or something, uh, all these will be rebuilt and you guys won't have a time to, to give your feedback on what we should do there. Uh, let me also, I want to change the zoning on this side. So we are gonna pause this because if I mess it up, I don't want the buildings to disappear. So if I hold Alt, we want it to stay on this back side, but not on, there we go, like that, okay. No, like that. So it's removed from there. We're gonna remove it from this side. We're gonna remove it from this side, that's good. Uh, I think we're actually gonna even remove the zoning on like these little small roads. And these are just gonna be these cul-de-sacs. Okay, that looks nice. We'll do the same size all around there. I'm not gonna worry about that little piece. And then this is a fish factory. So this is actually gonna get some trees. Let's put a few of these in here. It's gonna be a little bit packed in this spot, but that's mainly because this area here is right against the highway. Let's grab whatever this tree is. Put a few of these. And these trees match these trees over here. So I'm imagining there was some development and these were the trees that they all, they just used everywhere. All right, this looks pretty good. Decent enough. So that's gonna become something in a bit. Uh, but I think that's where we're gonna leave this part here. We've got tons of abandoned buildings. We're in desperate need of, oh, let me hit play. We're in desperate need of some higher ed. So we'll have to think about doing a university in the next part. A lot of these issues we're getting uh, are from buildings that are businesses which have been abandoned because of lack of educated workers. Um, but I think overall this looks pretty good. So let me know what we should do here. I think, uh, I'm going to expand the question from just this one block that was destroyed, which if we vote to do something different here, we can, but I think I also want to entertain maybe moving the farming industry somewhere else. Now that we have all this development, I don't know if the farming here makes as much sense, but you guys let me know. I'll have a community post up right after this goes live. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, leave a comment if you have any suggestions. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you in the next one.